Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. If you're new here, welcome. Um, so I just wanted to come and tell you guys about the life lesson the Lord taught me through decorating. I'm gonna give you a backstory, um, but I'm also doing a get ready with me. So it's just gonna be like a concealer only look. I'm not really doing much today, but I always like to, you know, look a little presentable when I go out, if y'all know what I mean. So I just got back from my friend's bachelorette weekend celebration. It was so amazing. Um, so much wisdom was poured out from so many different women. And so it was just a really beautiful weekend. Um, so, you know, we decided we were going to decorate the house before the bride got there. And so I am not usually on the decorating ministry. Um, but I don't know if you guys saw my Cabo video, but... The decorations, when I was put on the decoration ministry, was an epic fail. Uh, we definitely, <laughs> I want to put some footage <laughs> somewhere around here so you guys can see how much of an epic fail that was. It's Tawana and Veronica uh, <laughs> decorating, right? Let me show y'all our situation. <laughs> the only thing we did right was blow up those balloons. So that's literally the only thing that's going right. So we got out of breath with the streamer. <laughs> Half the streamer got cut off. We're just framing it with the curtain so you can't tell. This yeah. got cut off. What are we gonna do with that? Nothing. <laughs> and then this is this is the this takes the cake right here. A great idea. This to hang it there because that's the infinity pool. You can see the happy but this. So the problem is we out here doing Scrabble right now. So it's Yada's term <laughs> by party. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, listen. Uh, this is not my ministry, but when I got back to the house from grocery shopping, which was the ministry that I was put on, <laughs> um, there was still a couple things left to do. So I was like, you know what? Let me just redeem myself from the epic fail of Cabo and let me help out with these decorations, right? And so, mind you, I have a mirror right here. So that's where I'm like, I'm looking in the mirror to do my makeup, okay? So um, when I got back, there were still a couple things left to do. So in the actual bride's room. So we decorated like the living room, the kitchen, and also her room, right? And so um, I, I, you know, helped ask a couple people to help me out with these last couple of things. And basically it was like one of those little packages you can buy from Amazon where you can blow up the balloons with a the little straw they give you. And then they give you string and little holes to make a banner. So one of the banners said bride to be, and then there was a banner of a couple other balloons that was like two hearts and two stars, and then like an actual ring, right? So my job was the hearts, the stars, and the ring. So after we blow up the balloons, we're about to put the straws through, I mean, put the string through, we find out that the way that the company made the actual balloons, they put the hole where the string goes through on the wrong side. So it was like on the bottom of the heart, instead of the top of the heart. So when you hang, when you hung it, the heart would have been upside down. The star would have been upside down and the ring would have been upside down. And we're like, no, we're not about to do this. <laughs> it, and we tried it and it was not cute, right? Right? So for about an hour, a good hour, me and two other grown, very intelligent adults tried to figure out how to hang these balloons so that the heart and the star would not be upside down. Y'all, we tried everything and we failed a lot. Us three intelligent people could not figure out how to hang these balloons the right way, but it wasn't necessarily our fault because they, it, you know, the manufacturer made them wrong. Like who wants an upside down heart? Like we want the heart to be the right side up. You know what I'm saying? And so we ended up having to take a break because we had to do a family meeting. We had to do a, um, a house meeting it was about 16 of us staying in one airbnb and so we needed to set some ground rules we also needed to pray and invite the holy spirit in for the weekend which i mean he was already there because we had been praying a lot leading up to this but you know officially like lord come into this place you know what i'm saying so we had to stop for a house meeting and everyone was like yeah guys take a break you know re <laughs> regroup come back after the meeting and maybe you'll get it right so during the, during, I'm just like, I felt so defeated. I'm like, this balloons, I am not going to fail twice on the decoration, decorating ministry. Now, mind you, I know my place. Like, I know this ain't it, but I'm a child of God. And so, I, you know, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And I know I just use that in the wrong context. So don't come for me. I know, I know the real context Paul was using that in. So don't call, don't come for me. But anyways, so, um, 
during the meeting um, when we were actually praying, I took it upon myself to pray and ask the Holy Spirit, show me how to hang up these balloons. Because I was like, listen, we without you, we could not do it. <laughs> And within like one minute after me asking the Holy Spirit, he showed me a vision on how to execute the task where we can hang the balloons. One minute after I asked him, y'all. And mind you, we worked on these this for an hour, an hour and a half. Never thought of this idea. It never even like came, like nothing near this idea came to us. I asked the Holy Spirit and within one minute, he literally showed me a vision on how to execute these decorations. So when the house meeting was done, so the house meeting maybe was like 20 minutes. When the house meeting was done, I was like, guys, so the people that I had helping me do this task in the first place, I got it. The Holy Spirit showed me how to do it. So we went back in the room and we started to do it the way the Holy Spirit showed me. Like, I mean we're not this would not have worked without the lord right my brother caught on to the vision that the holy spirit gave me and he had wisdom on how to even execute it better and faster so all of a sudden done we got these balloons up the right way and they stayed up the whole weekend and the reason why it's a miracle that they stayed up the whole weekend because it was just tape tape we made we made a like a tape tunnel for the string to go through and when I tell you that tape was like decorations were falling all left and right throughout the house but that that decoration stayed up the whole time and so this is kind of what the Holy Spirit laid on my heart and he had been telling me this for a while because I'm in a season I'm still in a season of rest like as you guys know that I was on a sabbatical and then I got my real estate license and though I am a realtor my season of rest is not over and the Lord has been showing me that. But um, the part of the rest that he's been giving me is growing in intimacy with my relationship with the Lord because he's about to prepare me for a season where, you know, it's about to get busier. But the the way that life wants to, life wants to push you life wants to throw things at you life wants to take your attention away from God and the Lord has been teaching me and showing me that when life gets busier actually don't respond to life by becoming more busy respond to life by spending more time with me that is actually what the Holy Spirit told me and I was like yeah okay it's it sounds amazing but he basically it had to convince me with this decorating and what I learned is I could have spent hours upon hours. I mean, after that meeting without the vision from the Holy Spirit, we could have went back in that room and tried 50 million different ways and spent hours and hours on these decorations and just given up. But within a minute, the Lord downloaded a vision to me of how to execute it. We went back there and executed it within like 15 minutes, something that before we were spending hours doing. And the Lord was showing me like, spend time with me Come to me and I will answer and show you great and mighty things of which you do not know, which is in Jeremiah, I want to say 33, 3. And I'm going to put that on the screen. But basically the Holy Spirit has been teaching me that when life pushes you, when life gets busier, when life seems demanding, actually come closer to me. I will show you how to do things that might take people hours or days or months in a second. I will show you how to do it in a second and, and I will show you how to do it in a way that will be successful. Like those balloons did not come down. And mind you, this tape was not that strong the whole entire weekend. I will show you how to do it in a way that it remains and it becomes and it's successful and it doesn't take you as much time as people in the world. That is what the Holy Spirit has been teaching me. And through decorating, he showed me that what he's been teaching me, this is how I want you to execute it in life. Um, and then he also taught me that things that I have for you to do, it's not just for you to execute alone. I have given you people and resources to help you along the way. So when I remember when you said, when I said that once my brother caught on with the vision, cause this was a co-ed bachelorette trip. I just want to, I, I didn't mention that before. Once my brother caught on with the vision, he was able to bring his wisdom and make it go faster. Um, and I can't really explain to you, y'all, I can't, I really wish I would have recorded the moment because it was just truly, ugh, 
the amount of time we spent on it. But basically, he was basically able to use wisdom to make us do the execute the vision faster. And so God has been showing me, hey, I'm also going to uh, bring you people to help you execute the vision. And so, y'all, I don't know about y'all, but this experience truly blessed me. It was almost like a small example of how, of the larger scale that God wants to do, not only in my life, but other believers' life. Like, I want to encourage you all, when life pushes you, when life demands more of your time, when life is make trying to make you busy, push back by actually spending more time with God, by getting to know him better, by asking him, coming to him with, Lord, how can I handle this? And allow and wait until he gives you instruction. And that is what I'm going to start doing in my life as well. But like wait on the Lord, like wait on him and the instructions he gives you. If you're able to wait on him can actually help you execute the task in a faster time, in a better way than you could ever think or imagine. And so I am going to, at the end of this video, put a couple of scriptures in here so that that can confirm what I'm saying because I never want to be a person to share my experience but not have scriptures to back it up, if you know what I'm saying. So I, at the end of this video, I will like put some scripture verses so you can go read them yourself, amen? Um, but yeah, once again, my get ready with me is not really me getting ready. I usually only finish with my eyebrows and I do a whole bunch of talking and then I'm done. <laughs> but I'm going to finish up with my face. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for my next one. Bye.